Are you ready? Yo YouTube, what's up? It's Triple P. How you guys doing? In this video guys, we're gonna dive into the premium feature on geocaching.com and learn about the list feature and what it can do and how it can help you with your geocaching endeavors. Here we go. Okay guys, so let's dive right into the list feature on geocaching.com. So to access that, you go to play, then you click on list. Pretty straightforward. At the top, you're gonna see where it says favorite caches, ignore geocaches, uh, and then it will show you a queue of all the lists that you have already started to create. Um, we're gonna go ahead and create a new list and we're gonna title it geocaches. And we're gonna hit create. That list has been created right now. If you want to change it from a private list to a public list, just click on the little uh, settings button and you can change it to private. If you wanna make it shareable so anybody with the link can view or copy this list, you can certainly do that. You just have to hit submit and then anybody with that can share it to anybody else. So we're gonna keep it as a as a public list. I want other people to see my list. Uh, this button right here would delete the list. So if you're like, yeah, I wanna get rid of it. I don't need it anymore. You can just hit the trash can it will delete it. Uh, there's a couple ways that you can add a geocache to this specific list. And that first way is hit add geocache. And we're gonna just type in GC25. And that is uh, one of the oldest caches in the United States. It's in Idaho. So let's go ahead and hit add geocache. From here, we're gonna click on play and then we're gonna go to view map. And what's gonna happen is it's, and then you're gonna click on browse geocaches. And what will happen is it will bring up the map of the home coordinates of the area that you live in. Okay guys, so we're ready to go on our map here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to add a geocache to the list feature from the map. So we're gonna go to Los Angeles, California. And now we're gonna add a few caches to the list that are in Los Angeles. I'm really interested in doing this multi-cache up here that starts in Dodger Stadium. So I'm gonna hit add to list, and then I'm gonna hit geocaches because that was the title, the title of our list. Uh, I'm interested in getting an earth cache while I'm here. So let's go ahead and grab one of those. I kind of want this traditional cache right here called Handy Dandy. Click on that, click on add to list. Now you'll see that it's off of the page. To fix that, all you have to do is just scroll to the right, click add to list, Click on geocaches and bada bing, bada boom, it's in your list. Let's go ahead and click play and go back to the list feature. So now we have four caches in the in the list. And from here, you can do a few things. If you click on this three buttons, you can change it to private, shareable, we've already talked about that. You can do send to Garmin, you can copy it, you can edit it, you can delete it, or you can download a GPX file. Um, we're actually gonna do none of those. We're gonna just click on geocaches, which is the list we created. Now from here, we're going to view the list on the map so we can figure out where everything is. So there's a button called map list. Go ahead and click on that. And what happens is it gives you an aerial shot of all the caches that you have added to that specific list. Now you'll see there's one way up here in Idaho and then the rest are down here in Los Angeles, California pretty cool. So now what else can we do? We want to do what's called a pocket query. And that is this button right here. And if you leave your cursor on it, it will say create pocket query. So go ahead and click on that. We're going to title it geocaches because that's the same title. And we're going to hit submit. It's going to load up right here. You're going to click on preview the search here. And now it tells you any sort of information that you could want to know about these specific four caches. The reason I bring this up is because what's going to happen is geocaching.com is going to sync it to CGO and we're going to walk you through how to load these caches from the list onto your, um, onto your phone. Okay guys, so we're ready to show you how to access them from the computer straight to your phone through CGO. You're going to start by clicking on the three buttons at the top and then you're going to click on the button that says pocket queries. What's gonna happen is it's gonna load all the pocket queries that you have created through geocaching.com. And then you wanna click on the one that says geocaches because that was the one we've been doing throughout the whole video. So go ahead and click on your little hourglass there. And it's gonna bring up the four caches that you've already loaded through the website straight to your phone. Um, you're gonna click on the three buttons, then you're gonna click on manage caches, and then you're gonna click on store offline. 
From here, you're gonna pick the list that you wanna put it in. I'm just gonna keep it at the base of one belt stored. And what will happen is it will load them straight from the list online to your app CGO and you're ready to go. Click on store and there they are. The four caches that were in that pocket, Corey, are now in your phone. All right, guys, this seems like an awesome place to wrap up this tutorial video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Social media links are in the description, and I'll see you guys out on the trail. Have a good one.